I'm uh, Matt Sewell. I'm here on the with uh, Sea Salt for their art club, and I'm going to be do, we're going to be doing some um, bird drawing and painting. Um, oh hi, hello Inverness. So yeah, so I have this my phone rigged up uh, above my head, and I have to really strain my neck. Um, to to read these things, but you know, keep keep saying hello, and if you you know shout out and all that kind of stuff, and uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, ask away, and if I see them, I'll try and answer them. But hi to Plymouth, um, yeah. So me, I'm Matt Sewell. I'm an artist and author. I um, I do lots of bird books and stuff like that. It's what I'm known for. Oh, look at that, handily falling on the peewit. I do all these kind of things. Hello in France. Hello, Belfast. And, um, yeah, and i been doing these books now for about 10 years. And through doing the books, I've done lots of... Uh, um, I've done <laughs> lots of uh, workshops and... Um, live drawing classes and talks and all that kind of stuff in festivals in uh you know like glastonbury green man um literature festivals what's the big one here and why all that kind of stuff edinburgh and um yeah and then obviously when the uh, coronavirus pandemic kicked in everything got shut down and a lot of the stuff i was doing got shut down um all the festivals and stuff as well um and which is sad but then a lot of people are just out there doing lots of stuff online i think it's really good and i started doing the spotting and jotting clubs over on my instagram hello northumberland and um uh yeah and and they've been going really well people have been loving them it's been a really amazing community that we built up all around the world painting birds drawing birds and um, I just realised I've forgotten my pen. And, um, yeah, and so we're doing, I'm doing that with sea salt today. Uh, hold on. In Canada. Hi, Janet. Cardiff and Canada are in the same two lines. Right, looks like we probably... Got around 300 coming in between, in and off between around about 300, which is great. So, right, let's go. Right, so we're going to do a bit of drawing. And um, can you, oh, I'm not drawing fish, unfortunately, I'm drawing birds. Um, so, yeah, going to be doing some quick drawing, talking about birds, drawing birds. And then we're going to spend a bit more time on a actual watercolour painting. So hopefully you've got... Um, um, Hi from oh, oh hi Falmouth. I'm going to talk about Falmouth in a minute. Um, yeah, so get some paper. You just need. We're going to be do these. Are going to be quick. If you've got little ones with you, you know it's perfect for them. But you know, don't take it too seriously. If your drawing isn't looking perfect, it doesn't matter. It's about just getting the shapes, getting the right markings in there, and so you can tell which garden bird it is that we're talking about. It's all British, all British birds, but you get them all over Europe as well. And some in, and there's some in America, so there's some, um, yeah, I don't know if there's any American birds, but you'll know what they are, hopefully. So, um, yeah, so I just want to say a big thanks to um, Sea Salt for getting me involved. They're based down in Cornwall. I've always liked a bit of Cornwall. I used to live, I lived down there for a short while, not that long. But um, got around quite a lot, and um, really, over the last ten years, I've only ever really been down to St Germans for the Port Elliot Festival. That's just kind of over the Tamar, isn't it? So it's not that far into um, Cornwall. But um, yeah, I used to go down all the time, go to free parties, and go surfing or try to surf. I'm nowhere a surfer, but anyway, enough of my chittery chattery. How about we draw some birds? So right, the simplest, the first. The first bird we can draw. I've got my tripods in the way. Right, let's draw an egg. So even if you can't draw, 
Or you think you can't draw because everyone can draw. You can draw. You can draw an egg. Sutton Caulfield, hello. Right, you've got your egg. So yeah, what could this be? I mean, it could be any bird, couldn't it? You know, what came first? The chicken or the egg? The egg, obviously, but... Right, with this, so with this one, you're gonna just give it a little stumpy tail. So if you've done any of my classes before, some of these birds you're gonna be repeating, but there's a lot of these sea salty guys. They haven't done it before. So they need to know the, 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 the magic and the ways of this stubby tail in the wing. So you can see, you've got the stubby tail, the short little wing, and then it's all gonna become clear once you put an eye in there, and a little beak, and a smile. And you can see, you've got a wren. There you go, so you got then and then you just give it give its legs from at the back like that. Spindly little legs, little feet. Some markings like that, maybe some markings on the wing. Dun dun dun. There you go, a very funny looking wren. Moscow, wow, amazing. So yeah, so basically you've just drawn a head on legs, which is what a wren is. It's all mouth. It's just a little ball of fluff. Incredible birds. The noisiest little things, they'll tell you off if you get too close to them. You know, they're not bothered. They'll stand up to you. So there you go, wren. You got your first bird. Lovely, lovely, lovely little bird, right. Oh, I'm getting text messages, don't need them. Oh, we've grown, look at that, 345, that's amazing. Right, let's move on to another tiny, tiny little bird. It would be even smaller than the wren if it wasn't for its reet long tail. So with this one, you've got to draw a raindrop that's kind of flying up. Maybe it's not a raindrop, it's a splash from a puddle. I don't know, but it's flying up at a 45 degree angle. You see what I mean? So look, there you go, there's a raindrop. Like that. But you're doing it at that kind of angle. Great, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'll be doing this same time next week as well. Very similar, but different birds. It's all about drawing birds. It's good for you, but drawing birds are good, good for the mind. It's peaceful. And watching them is even better. But you can see these guys. So right, you can draw the wing in like that. And then you need to draw a really long tail because this is a long tail tip. which are fantastic little birds. I absolutely love them. You know when they're coming into the garden because you can hear them. You hear them before you see them. A really high-pitched little piping sound. Got a tiny little tin flute. So you do this bit over the back of this so they have this kind of marking that comes up around the back of the net, back of the, behind the eye. There you go, and then put the eye in like that and give them a little beak. And a little smile. And then give them some nice kind of swishy wing white bit. So if you were colouring that in, that would be all. They're, they're very graphic. They've got the black and white and bits of pink. And they've even got these amazing pink eyelashes. It's like a ring around their eye. But when you can get close enough, they're, um, you can see that they're, uh, they've got like pink eyes. Pink rings around their eyes, it's so cute. And the good thing about a long tail tit is if you see one, you're gonna see a whole load more as well because they're a big family that all hang out together. Um, 
and uh, yeah, and they're just chattering as they go, just piping away, making sure everyone's nearby, and letting everyone know when they found a good feeder with the, the right kind of nuts in there. Chitty chattering away. And yeah, they're related. They're one of the only animals that actually hang about with their family rather than going off and doing other stuff, you know, going and they'll they'll actually hang about and help rear other you know, the next bunch of chicks, the next um their family, other, you know, cousins will help out rearing chicks and stuff like that. They're incredible. And they've got all of this going on in the bottom of your garden. It's fantastic. Right, so it looks like everybody's getting on. I've had no slowdowns yet, which is good. I normally get a lot of slow down, slow down, slow down. But um, it seems to be going all right so far. Grant, so I take it you've got that. Next up is my favorite bird. It's, I've drawn this bird so many times, it's turned into my logo. So we're going to draw a blue tit. And like with a blue tit, you just have to, I'll, 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 I'll chat as I'm going along, but you need, you need to do one straight line like that. So I've got to slow down. <laughs> Hi, you North Yorkshire. Right, so you got your line like that, and then you need to come over like that and then go to the beak. So you've got... So, because blue tits have this little, they have a skull cap, don't they? We'll be doing a line along there and this, that. But they have a little tiny crest at the, oh, little tiny crest at the back. That, um, uh, yeah, sorry, the phone just went off there. So I'm just checking it's all all right. So, yeah, anyway, right, so from there, you meet, you meet up with where you started from. And then that's so there you got you got the body. So now you can do you can do its tail. Point your little tail. And you can do a line going up and that's gonna be its wing. Yeah. So draw a line all the way across and that's its chest, a nice yellowy green chest. And um, so if you're colouring it in, that's what you would do, do that bit yellow. And then, right, then you do the skull cap going across like that. Make it look, will there be, yeah, hopefully they'll be, avail they're always available for 24 hours afterwards on, which will be on the sea salt, in the sea salt stories and hopefully It'll save. I haven't, when I've been doing, doing them in the past, that I haven't always saved, but I'm gonna try my best. I deleted loads of stuff off my phone, all my pictures of my kids. You know, it's like they don't exist anymore. Um, I'm only joking. But yeah, um, hi to Romy May, if you are watching this, and hi Jess, my wife. Um, yeah, so hopefully they'll be there to watch, even if it's just for 24 hours. But I'm gonna try my best. Right, anyway, so, they have, uh, so, and then go from like there to meet that line. And um, that's, they kind of look like they've got long hair sticking out the back of their hat or the back of, back of a hood. I don't know what, but it's dark. And then you can put their eye in there like that. Give that a quick color. Give him a little smile. And then give him like a white, they've got a nice little white flash through the wing. Obviously it's very graphic, but you know, like blue tits, I've always been obsessed with blue tits. I remember I was, I used to live in Brighton and I had this like boring admin job and I was walking back from there and I kind of bumped into a blue, uh, a blue tit. And I've always loved birds. It was always a bird spot. It was always part of my artwork, but then I, it was from looking at this blue tit after this really dull day of an admin job. It was like, right, I'm going to paint that. 
and get try and get the colours right and try to get it right. And it wasn't that easy. But then once I'd done it a few times, it worked out. And then I kind of got a bit obsessed with getting birds to look like they should. Rather than just drawing a shape of a bird, it was like, right, every time I do a bird, that has to look like that bird now. And the blue tit, I just, there's something about it. It's the blue. It's definitely, and the fact that they're just, they're kind of everywhere, aren't they? They're always there. And the blue, they're amazing. And they're so cute. Oh, you're welcome. Glad you're enjoying it. Right. I hope I haven't gone too quick. A couple more to go before we get onto the. Um, I don't want to leave the 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 thingy too long, the uh, watercolors too long. Um, so I might want right my best spot that I did. In Cornwall, it was an incredible. I remember walk, walking a dog, someone's dog, <laughs> family dog, and um, yeah, it w turned around the corner and just bumped into a tawny owl. It was incredible. It was just sat on a branch. So we're gonna. So we a tawny. They look like a big bag of leaves, basically. So if you start off with a kind, you know, bit of an organic looking lumpy shape. Not wrong with that. And then you put put quite a broad beak in there like that. You can draw everybody, I bet you draw now. Doesn't matter, but you just put paper to pen and make some marks. And the more you do it, the easier it'll become. It'll more it'll, the more you do it, the more it looks like you want it to look like. Smile and a couple of nostrils in there like that. And then you've got to do his beard. So you bring it down like that. Connect that up like that. So yeah, it was pretty, it was, it was literally stood. It was sat on a branch a meter away from the path where we were walking and just kind of hung out with it for about five minutes. And it was just looking at, looking at me. I was looking at it and just, it was incredible. I've never had such a good view of an owl as that. It was almost like being at a falconry centre, but wild and in a wood. So they have these two eye bits, big eye glasses like that. And then two big eyes. Give them the kind of droopy eyebrows, eye, eye, eyelids. It's hard, oh, sorry about that. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. And then for the body, quite wide. <laughs> Give a nice wing like that. Whoop. And do the body, and then for the legs, they have like these kind of like Ugg boots. I like to say Ugg boots on um, Sea Salt's channel, and give it a wing, another wing like that. Oh, I don't know what's happened with these feet. <laughs> Oi, something like that. Oi, I've mucked that up a bit. Oh well, do some funny looking feet on him. <laughs> <laughs> These feet are making me laugh. Oh dear. So yeah, and then, like I said, they look like a big bag of leaves. So I draw some holly leaves on the chest. Have these fantastic cryptic kind of camouflage markings on him. Like that, something like that. Oh, you've got to colour the eyes in black. You've got to. Because they're nocturnal. So they have really dark eyes. Like oh, I can do a good 
tiny impression actually yeah and so when you hear a tiny owl you might they, they call to each other they do the twitter woo and it's the it's the male when you hear the twit to woo it's the male and the female actually talking to each other Hello everyone. Right, Tawny. Tawny owl. I think it's the UK's most common owl. A woodland, lovely woodland creature comes out at night. I had one fly right at my head. You saw a laughing couple on Wednesday. Oh, incredible. I hope that was in Australia. I love those birds. We drew one. We drew one on the Spot and Jotting Club a few weeks ago. It was good. It was a good one. Right, now we're going to do some watercolours. So get, get your watercolours. Oops, sorry about that. I'm getting good. <laughs> Jeez, Callum, I'm getting good at the owl. Yeah, it's not bad. I've had a bit of practice at that one. So, right. So, have you got the tawny? I hope you've all got the tawny. So we've got just on, just over half an hour now. Well, 35 minutes. So I'm going to... I've already drawn mine out in the paper, but I'm going to show you what to do. We're going to do some lap wings, because lap wings are beautiful. Oh, hold on a sec. Sorry about that. Need to get some water. Ah, water. Um, yeah, lap wings are incredible. I remember seeing loads when I was down in Cornwall, mainly in North Cornwall. But they were, oh, I absolutely love them. I kind of grew up seeing them and then they just disappeared. Unfortunately, they're one of our birds that um, are endangered. You used to see big flocks of them and it's rare that you see that now. But right so i'm going to show you how to do this you draw this on your paper i'm going to show you this with a marker pen because it's probably easier to see than the thin lines i've done on my watercolor paper but um yeah lap wings i'm glad people like them they are they're incredible they're so beautiful and they're really um it's kind of crazy because they're so well camouflaged but when you see them up close through binoculars you can see the colours on them. Right, okay. So, it's going to be hard to just explain this one. So do your line going up there like that. And that's the back of its head. Lots of them in wheelchair. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm glad people still have them around. They're just not, where I'm from, they're just not there anymore. I'm from the northeast, County Durham, in case anybody's wondering. I'm living in Shrewsbury with my wife and two kids. So, right, so there you've got yours <laughs> fat. Right, so you, there you've got its, its head and its beak. Give it some of these wispy things. They've got these nice wispy head crest feathers. And we're going to do some chicks as well. Let's do some chicks. Because lapwing chicks. Super cute. Do the body like that. So you've got the long wind. Wind. Long wind. Oh, brilliant. People are giving out lapwing locations as well. I like to see. Okay, so you've got the tail like that sticking out and then you've got you've got this bit that comes down like that it's like a dark bib and it has a hat on and give it a 
give it a big eye like that. And then it has a bit coming off. And that has a little marking like that. So this will look better once we get painting on it. Some long legs. We're not going to do feet because it's going to be in the grass. So I'll be doing this as big as you can. I should have said that actually. Do it as big as you can. Watercolors are always easier. Right, let's draw some chicks. Slow down, sorry. Sorry, Daniel Rubber. Oh, I think you told me to slow down before. I'll chill me beans. I'll chill me beans and do an impression. So yeah, lap wings also known as peewits. Because you can... Oh, no. It's, um, oh, what is it? Yeah, because of their call, the sound, like they're saying P with. Oh, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. Ah. That, was a, that was an impression of a robin I just did. Uh, anyway, I'm going to carry on with this little chick, this little guy. Like that. Big eyes. So I draw them like a... Oh, poor, sorry. I've keep my eye on it. Oh, is it still going now? Is Abby there? Are we still are we back in the back in the room? You missed the well, there's a bit of time to catch up with some chicks. Yeah, cheers Callum. Right. So you've got that one. Here's the one I prepared earlier. If you need to still have a look. There it is. Thicker lines. So right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start out with um, doing, so get some, get your watercolours out, get your paper, get your, your paint, get your water, get your palette. I'll try and put my palette on here so you can see. Brilliant. Can you do the chicks again? Well, there's the chicks there. Just copy those guys. They're just like funny little, funny little chicks. Almost like chicken, chicken chicks. I'm glad everyone's still there, even though it paused and stuff and went away. So yeah, so with the wings, you need to get your greens, get whatever greens you got. I'm gonna just use all my greens cause I like, I'm like that. So I've got a really dark green. And that's the best thing with, with watercolors, you get your water in your pan, in the pan and mix it all up. So we're going to start dark at the bottom. So if you've got black, put some black in there. So it's always nice to give a bit of depth. I'm going to nick this green. There's the chicks. Can you still see them? So uh, yeah, you got. So try and make it as dark as you can, but. Still leave some light at the top so you're not going to have to mix it because we're going to be kind of doing a bit of a a gradient kind of mix. Then you can get some black in there. The hardest bit is the drawing. Once you've got the shapes right, in the right places, you're all right. So, okay, can you see that? Got some quite dark green there. And let's go. Is it dark enough? Yeah, it's dark enough. That's pretty dark. That's good. So yeah, the lap wings have this like iridescent green and a bit of purple in them as well. So we're going to do that bit there, that bit purple. So you've got your really dark bit down there. 
Don't be shy if you don't think it's dark enough to add some more black in. That's the good thing with watercolors, you can just keep mixing and adding and dropping it in there. So I'm doing, I'm going a bit, I'm getting lighter and lighter. Getting in some of this bright green mixed in now. See that, I'm mixing some bright green in on the palette. Keeping it nice and wet. I love painting lap wings. Such a lovely sh shape. Like my favourite birds to paint are always like the little guys. I always like the finches and blue tits and all those kind of guys and the song, all the little songbirds. But there's something about these lap wings and other waders that just absolutely beautiful silhouettes. So let's do some the green up to there like that. And then now we're going to go crazy and add some purple in there. So I've got some purple. This is like violet. It's not really mixing that well. So you got your purple. If you haven't got purple, mix it up. Red and green. Red and green? Red and blue. So look at that. So get it mixed. So let it, let it bleed. Let it bleed in with the other colours to mix in, make it look nice. Ah, uh, sorry. Pause, isn't it? Sorry about that. Every time I look up, it's paused. Are we back? Back in the room? I'm sorry about that. I reset the internet and everything before I started this. Sorry about that. Did you get the purple? Add the purple <laughs> in with the green. Cheers, Caleb. Cheers, Amanda. Right, I don't know why it keeps freezing off for... Tinternet is all I can say. Right. Let's keep going. So I've got a hairdryer, so I'm gonna cheat a bit. I'm gonna dry it. Off. So once you got your wing, I'm gonna keep really have to keep an eye on um on this, because I don't want it going again. Yeah, it's lovely. That's when the waters all just bleed to get when the colours all bleed together and start doing its own thing. That's what I love about watercolours. You know, it's like when I'm painting murals and doing like illustration work and stuff like that, it's pretty much you know exactly what's happening, you're just colouring in basically. But with watercolours, you've you've running a bit of a risk. It's dangerous. Woo yeah. Feel the vibe. So anyway, right, what we're we doing next is we're gonna be doing the uh yeah so gonna be doing these bit bits have we done the purple bit i'm really worried it's gonna pause again so right we're gonna do the bib so you need a dark blue we're gonna do exactly the same it's gonna be like a dark green at the front like that I am living dangerously, doing watercolours, keep my eye on the phone and trying to not let it cut out. <sighs> I'm not going to sleep tonight. The adrenaline is pulsing through my body. And um, yeah, so do green, it's like the same as we did with the wing. So you do dark and get it going to light again. I can't handle it. Too much pressure.
See what it's like. It's not an easy life, this. Oh, I'm joking. I love it. If this is as hard as it gets, then it's not bad, is it, really? Right. So you got the bib. Keep <laughs> going. <on. laughs> I will keep going. <laughs> So yeah, so you do the bib like that. And don't forget, you can always carry on doing this. Afterwards, I'm gonna be rushing this a bit because I don't wanna, I don't want to um, lose it and run out of time. So for the hat, they have, it's really dark. They've got this lovely, lovely dark cap, backward cap. So mix up your black, but mix it in with the green. It's always nice to have just some of that green that'll pop through when the water is doing its thing. So right, let's get up there and do that. go well paper this is just regular watercolor paper um nothing fancy i do normally when i'm doing my books and commissions and bigger paintings i use arches watercolor paper and uh yeah you should be able to watch it this will be live for 24 hours and i'm hopefully it'll save and it'll be on the uh, uh sea salt page right okay so we've done the cap Still there? You still there? Oh, that's fun! Brilliant. So right now we're gonna do. They've got these long wispy feathers. Like that. So I'm using quite a big brush and just letting it feed through. Or you can use a thin brush. It is tricky. Doing thin lines. So you can either use a little brush or a thick brush and just use it ever so gently with the edge. Like that. Right now, are you still there? Woo! Right, and then you can use that dark on the tail feathers down there. Like that. Brilliant. Only lost about 40 people from the blackouts, oh well. Right, now, beak, beaky beaks. Oh, actually, now there's the bit, there's the bit under the eye, isn't there? So you can do, remember you drew that kind of bit, I have a bit of a marking. To make it very lap wingy, you need to do a bit of a thing like that, coming out from around the eye like that. You got no pants. Oh, right. Well, th this time next week, get yourself some watercolor pants. Sometimes we do just do, we, when I've been doing the water, the, the drawing classes, we get just use colored pencils so you know what goes where and then you can do what you like afterwards. But these are, um, yeah, watercolors is a different beast, isn't it? Right. Okay. Right. Let's do the, let's do the beak. So just black, just get black and make it quite wet because you're going to, you're gonna dab it if you want to, if you've got something you can dab with. So we're just gonna do the beak like that because we're gonna make it a nice kind of a gray color. Well, it is gonna be gray. Nothing kinder about it. Just get your beak in like that. And then just give it a dab. Just a bit of toilet paper. Give it a nice bit. Just line it up a little bit. 
Yeah, exactly. When you get the paints, it's so much. I love watercolours. They are really good fun. Um, right, okay. Uh, should we do the... Quickly do the eyes so we don't run out of time. So these are the Soul Jewel eyes. And what you got to do, you start off with... I think we might run out of time for the chicks, but hopefully we'll do them quick. I'll do them quick, get them in there. So you paint in the highlight first, like that. You see that? Paint in the highlight. It's a nice white shape. And then go around for the rest of the circle. And get a nice bit of yellowy green on the go because you're going to put that in the bottom that's going to be the eye shine at the bottom so I've mixed up a bit of yellow with this green and you're going to put it in there like that and then mix that up mix it in with the black let it bleed together and then get a bit more of that yellow And then bring some of the, when you mixed it, try and bring some of the black around the bottom. And that just gives it a bit more of a shape, defines it. It just makes it look like it's, makes it looks like a sphere. Can you see that? Brilliant. There we go. We got a lap wing. And just gonna quickly like do some little bits of outline, just really the faintest bit of outline. And then we'll do the chicks in the last. Yeah, we've got time. We've got 10 minutes to do the chicks. That's all good. Let's do the bottom of the body like that. Just even if even if it's just the faintest line. You don't want a big thick outline on it, just a nice little, nice little line. And then for the legs, they've got very spindly legs that we're going to do them disappearing into the grass. I mean, it's not going to be totally scientifically correct, but that's never stopped me in the past. So you just kind of do and then press down a bit harder where you've got the knees. And it looks like they're going to be disappearing into some long grass. Like that. You got it. Good, good, good. Right. Chicky chicks. So, I've got this colour that's called gold green. But, we can just use that yellow and green you mixed up for the eyes. So for the chicks, it's very much a case of, they don't have to be um, that precise. The really, like chicks are mottled in colours, so they're just totally camouflaged anywhere. So let's get some of that yellowy green on up here. Tops of the heads. Thin lines are the hardest. Baby, I know. Can you see that? That thing's in the way. Is that the same for everyone? There we go. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying painting. It's good, isn't it? You know what? I didn't really, I'd never done any of these kind of things, but apart from, you know, I did them live at festivals and stuff I was talking about, but I'd never really thought about doing them online. And I actually prefer it, much prefer it. Don't have to travel. I can actually talk to people at the same time. People do shout out things at they're normally the, the things at festivals are normally quite relaxed affairs. People don't really want to be shouting out too much. I get the odd heckle from cats. 
They're always giving me a bit of jib, those cats. Right. Uh, might give them a quick dry. Less booze. <laughs> yeah, boo booze and watercolours. Yeah, they're a funny mix. Right, they've got... So, get some of that dark green that you've been using on the go again. Hopefully you still got some mi mixed up. Because these little ends there have a little bib. Like the parents. That's the magic thing about chicks. They quite often have... Very similar. Yeah, session, same time next week on um, Sea Salt's page. Next Thursday, six, six o'clock. And then when you've got that color, do some little, little speckles on the, on the chicks. Side of your brush. They don't look too good. Just dab them out. Quite like to dab them out once they've been on like that. Gives it a quite a nice effect. Right. Um, so what way are we at? Let's give them just a little. While you got that dark, just give them a little bit of an outline. Like that. And don't forget to wait until the painting's dried before you um, before you rub out your lines, or you will learn the hard way that it's very easy to smudge watercolor. So you think they're dry, but there'll be a couple of little bits that won't be right. So we let's let's do the do give them some little beak a little beak. A little bit like that black again on the beak, and then we'll do the eyes. A little beak like that. Give it a little dab. Dib, dab, dab, dab. And let's get on to the eyes. So remember what we did last time. Where's me? So I used black, mixed up a load of black. She looks in charge. She's the boss. They're amazed because so lappings are a, a plover, 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 whatever you want to call them. And they have this amazing technique where if there's a predator coming, she'll pretend she's got a broken wing to lure the predator away, like a fox or a badger or something, you know, um, something like that. Stop. And um, yeah, so to, to, she lures them away from the chicks and then when they took them right away, she flies off. It's fantastic. Um, uh, right, eyes. A few minutes left before the, because it'll just shut down. So remember, right, so you have to do, you do the, um, you do the highlight first to draw a little white shape. I'm giving away all the tricks in my trade here. It's always the eyes that people like. Oh, I love the eyes on your birds. I love the eyes. Now everyone can do them. Bit more yellow. So let's do a nice yellowy shine in this eye. Yeah, very brave. Hugely brave. Whoops. Too much. That you can put a bit more black in the middle. Give it that real whoa see living on the edge. Right, next up, this little guy this side. Let 
Make sure your highlights in the same kind of area. Let's draw the white bit first and the rest of the black. I hope everyone's keeping up. So you're gonna please share your creations afterwards. Do the the, the hashtag C Salt Art Club. Um, and also if you could um, put my soul, like hashtag me in there as well. My, just my soul, that would be incredible. Um, or spotting and jotting club, anything like that. I'll find it, and um, yeah, and then everyone else can see it. It's always lovely seeing what people have, people have been up to, what people have done in this hour. And I'll, you know, like you say, don't rush. You know, if you've got a bit more, you've got the rest of the evening to finish this off if you want need to, or have another go. I'll try some of the birds that you did earlier. Blue tits always nice to paint, but I am uh, biased. Right, let's give, let's give him a little smile. I'm just doing a really faint little smile on these guys like that. And up on their mum as well. Oh, you're welcome. And then do do some legs on these little guys. Remember, just like spindly little legs. Stab that out because it's a bit too, it's a bit too strong. There we go. Yeah, see you the next week, Edie McPeedy. Sorry, I've got my brush in my mouth. Um, right, I think we've done it. I think we're there. Might just give a few little kind of markings on the on the legs like that. So if anybody, like, so what I always do with these, with the drawings and the paintings is that if you, somebody buys a book from my website, matsool.co.uk, and it's first come, first served, uh, you'd have to buy an atlas, though, to, for this one, for the, for the painting, because, um, atlas of birds, because it wouldn't fit in with the rest of them, and, yeah, give them away for free, or the pictures, if, um, if there's any of them left and and yeah so because it's just nice to do oh you still there brilliant you still there that's good it looked like it disappeared for a bit yeah and so next week yeah we're going to be doing more birds more cornish birds uh very cornish bird um that's brilliant i'm glad you've enjoyed it Hopefully it will be available yet. Um, yeah, so see you next week, hopefully. And I'm going to try my very best to get this saved. And it'll be up. Cheers, peaceful. Hope you don't have too bad a hangover tomorrow. Grass. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were calling me a grass there. Yeah, we could do just some little bits. Just do some little bits coming up like that. So I'm meant to do just like the legs. Do them just like the legs. That's it. And dab that out. Dun dun dun. There we have it. I'm pleased with that. It looks all right, considering it was such a rush. Sail bunting. I love sail bunting. I didn't see. I haven't seen them in. Uh, I've only seen them in Devon. Um, it's close enough though, isn't it? It's not quite calm, although I don't let the current... <laughs> don't let the make me saying that. You've only been in the last five minutes. Well, come next time. Brilliant. See you, Daniel Robbo. Glad you enjoyed it. Brilliant. 24? That's incredible. That is fantastic. Brilliant. Uh, well, hopefully, look what I found today that you'll be able to watch it at a later date. Um... Mine looks like big from the Muppets. Brilliant. Get that up. Let's have a look at it. You're welcome, Up 83 Right. I'm going to turn this off and try my best to get it saved. All right. Take care, everyone. See you next week.